Uh, our keynote speaker is Tatsuo Tamida, who is the president of, of the labs. Uh, Tamida-san has been at Fujitsu since 1973 in a variety of positions, the majority of which is around our product business. Uh, Tamida-san uh, regularly presents on, on the big picture out of the labs, and today uh, he'll be sharing his views with you. So please join me in welcoming Tamida-san to the stage. Thank you for that. Thank you. Yeah, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm Tatsuo Tomita, uh, president of Fujitsu Laboratories Limited, in, based in Japan. And today, I'd like to share with you an overview of the R&D strategy for the Fujitsu uh, Laboratories Group. Hmm? Next is here. Oh. Okay. Sorry. Uh, for Fujitsu and other ICT related companies to work toward enabling and supporting a prosperous society, it is vitally important to have a good grasp of global scale intertwined complex issues that societies are facing now. Uh, world population continues to increase, bringing about a host of issues on a global scale, uh, including uh, food supply, energy, the environment, uh, uh, health care, security, or transform, transportation. Uh, these complex issues are interrelated and often cannot be resolved merely on an individual basis. Uh, population and food supply issues are closely related and so are uh, various environment issues and global warming. So we, we can observe uh, a solution for one issue uh, may result in causing a new separate issue. So in other words, uh, we are uh, living in an era uh, in which we must seek ways to comprehensively resolve uh, the interrelate, uh, these interrelated global issues as a whole uh, rather than separately uh, each, each, dissolving each issue on an individual basis. So, uh, much of the world has observed a uh, paradigm shift that ICT is uh, currently undergoing. In computer-centric era, oh, sorry. In computer-centric era, computers are primarily uh, used by specialists. Uh, however, the, this era was uh, followed by the revolutionary development of networks, uh, and broadband and internet became common. Uh, Non-specialist average people were then able to uh, gain access to information, regardless of their physical location. And these, uh, this led to a network-centric era. However, uh, uh, even now, it feels that people are still adapting uh, to uh, devices and networks. So uh, Fujitsu believes uh, computing uh, is progress now progressing uh, progressing to human-centric era. The power of computing is uh, embedded for uh, daily lives and uh, our business activities and social infrastructures. So by being alongside us, technology will assist uh, people's activities. So uh, in this process, ICT will revelate and intelligently organizing uh, diverse information. This is human-centric ICT, in striving to bring about a hu this human-centric vision, which is to uh, uh, move towards with both its research and business activities. On April 10th, uh, Fujitsu Limited announced Fujitsu's uh, technology and service vision of the Fujitsu Group. 
details of this document are available online. Uh, as described on this document, Fujitsu's vision is to bring about a human-centric intelligent society, a society where people are free to achieve through their full uh, uh, potential and drive innovations, a society where information is harnessed to generate new value that will in turn um, benefit uh, business and society. And above all, a society where people can live in security, prosperity, and happiness. So uh, in this uh, uh, technology and service, Fujitsu technology and service vision, Fujitsu announced its plan to undertake three key actions uh, that relate to people and information and ICT. Uh, these three actions is to create innovation through people's activity. And the second is to power business and the society with information. And the third one is to optimize, to optimize ICT systems from end to end. By implementing these three actions on Fujitsu's eco-friendly shared platform, uh, which leverage the technological capabilities that we have cultivated over many years, uh, along with uh, our continuous pursuit of quality and reliability. Uh, we will aim to work, with, work together with customers and society to bring about a human-centric intelligent society. This will serve as a starting point for Fujitsu's growth strategy. Uh, the mission of Fujitsu Laboratories is to support Fujitsu Group's vision and growth by leveraging leading, leading edge technologies. Uh, for these three key actions, uh, along with uh, shared platforms that will support them, uh, Fujitsu Laboratories will seek to generate innovation through leading edge technologies. And in the short term, to contribute to growth of existing business, and in the medium term, to drive continuous innovation for new businesses, and in the long term, to create breakthrough innovation towards the cultivation for new markets and uh, new businesses. So uh, I'd like to now discuss in the direction in which we are pursuing research for each of these three actions and shared platforms. This is the first uh, Fujitsu's action. Fujitsu's first action is uh, creating innovation through people's activities. The real physical world uh, represents a front line where people actually live their daily lives. An important uh, priority uh, in achieving this first action lies in our capacity to determine how we can integrate the real and the digital world, in other words, uh, ICT world, uh, to, in order to fully take advantage of people's ability and empower people and society. A key part of this involves uh, supporting activities and daily lives of people through interfaces that appeal to the five senses. And next, uh, another important uh, uh, factor is the network that enables a plethora of sensor information about objects uh, in the real world to be shared across the digital world. So by building uh, networks uh, that connect that can connect uh, objects and people with society while sharing information and returning value to individuals. Fujitsu Laboratories is pursuing research uh, with the ultimate goal for, of delivering services that are customized to meet individuals' pr uh, tastes and preferences. The merge sense interfaces and sensor technologies and uh, network technologies that uh, connect people, object, and society will all be key technologies. 
Second, uh, uh, second action is powering business and society with information. So going beyond solution uh, that have primarily been utilized data for vertical industry, we would like to uh, utilize cross-industry data and even society-wide data. Therefore, we are transitioning from individualized solution towards cross-industry solution and society-wide solutions. SaaS and cloud security platforms uh, become critically important from the standpoint of guarding personal and enterprise data. And in the future, uh, we will need to move towards the direction to uh, predictive security platforms. And uh, one of our major, uh, uh, one of our main objective is to build system, systematic knowledge from massive data set of varying, varying reliability and uh, granularity. So, and uh, in the future, uh, we, we need customize. Uh, also key, customize uh, is uh, also key factors in this field as well. Uh, technology for massive data set, technology for leveraging massive data set, and technology for security platforms, and technology for leveraging society-wide data are key technologies. Fujitsu's third action is optimizing ICT systems from end to end. Uh, Fujitsu is committed to delivering uh, ICT platforms that rapidly adapt to the ever-changing circumstances of businesses and society. Uh, starting from the uh, planning stage of application development, Fujitsu supports business growth by, uh, uh, through total management services, ranging from application planning, deployment, uh, and operation to maintenance and modi uh, modification. Uh, Fujitsu want to uh, support sustainable growth by a platforms that enable analysis and reuse of collective customer data. Another important point is, uh, is that we deliver technologies that rapidly, that dynamically respond to business fluctuation by providing server resources that meet neither use and through network-wide uh, distributed processing. In the future, uh, we want to pursue uh, research uh, into global mobilization of server resources and through, uh, through use of proactive networks. Uh, in this area, what is important is delivering overall end-to-end -end optimization. And to do that, uh, we are uh, pursuing research into enabling, uh, into elemental enabling technologies, uh, including fabric computing, application management platforms, and so forth. And I'd like to discuss our shared platforms that, is, that support Fujitsu's three actions. Fujitsu Laboratories has categorized uh, three broad areas, uh, our pra shared platform into three, these, three, these broad areas. Uh, we plan to pursue uh, uh, robust, in-depth research in these fields uh, to bring about a human-centric intelligence society uh, uh, through core technologies for high performance, high quality, and eco-friendly advanced ICT. Manufacturing simulation is one of the three broad areas for our shared platforms. We want to transform manufacturing uh, through uh, a, a synergistic effects of uh, frontline integrated modeling simulation and high performance computing. 
intelligent software development is another uh, broad, another one of the broad area for our shared platforms. Uh, today, software uh, embedded in the product accounts for a significant portion of product quality and performance. So, uh, making software development more efficient and enhancing security quality are essential in manufacturing. And furthermore, if we are uh, contribute to, if we are to contribute to advancements in such areas uh, as high speed processing, high capacity communications, and efficient energy usage. New materials that go beyond the limit of silicon will be extremely important, as well as uh, uh, device technologies and coordinating and packaging technology that drive them. This slide depicts how Fujitsu Laboratories is positioned within the Fujitsu group. Fujitsu Laboratories uh, receives uh, uh, R&D funding from Fujitsu and affiliates within the Fujitsu group. And the Fujitsu Laboratories uh, uh, conduct R&D. And the large pillar in the middle presents, represents for the Technology Strategy Task Force comprised of members from Fujitsu Laboratories and Fujitsu's business groups. Uh, this technology strategy task force discusses the medium-term strategic direction of the Fujitsu group and outlines part of the agenda of our research activities. And furthermore, through collaboration, of uni collaboration with university and research institute, Fujitsu Laboratories uh, maintains a broader uh, network for its research activities. Since three years ago, uh, as shown here, uh, Fujitsu Laboratories has been implementing new strategic R&D uh, scheme structures. So Fujitsu Laboratories, uh, Fujitsu Laboratories receives research projects from a uh, business group. And these business strategic themes are allocated approximately 40% of our overall budget. And the company-wide core strategic theme, which was set by Technology Strategy Task Force I described earlier, uh, uh, allocated another approximately 40% of our overall budget. And the seas oriented themes uh, that have uh, longer term horizon based on Fujitsu, tech, Fujitsu Laboratories technologies are allocated approximately 20% of our overall budget. These seeds oriented themes are research projects we pursue uh, based on our own judgment. So we pursue these with the hope that uh, they eventually become uh, core company-wide core strategic theme and business strategic theme. But depending on the circumstances, other outcome has occurred to date. These are our core strategic theme for, uh, for research for fiscal 2013. Until fiscal 2012, we pursued five core strategic themes, human-centric computing, intelligent society, crowd fusion, green data centers, and manufacturing innovations. And fiscal 2013, we have given the core strategic domains the following name, ubiquitous innovation, social innovation, ICT innovation, and manufacturing innovation. These, each of these domains correspond to Fujitsu's three action and shared platforms. Our fundamental plan for this fiscal year is to focus our R&D in four areas as core strategic teams. And of course, 
we are pursuing new seas-oriented themes uh, that represent future topics that do not fit into any of these categories. As depicted here, the, at the end of 2012, within Fujitsu Laboratories, uh, R&D Strategy and Planning Office, we newly established four advancement offices uh, to strategically focus on specific fields. Two advancement offices shown on the right, uh, left, uh, shown on the left, Life Innovation R and the Advancement Office and Mobility R and the Advancement Office are responsible for uh, organizing Fujitsu Laboratories technologies related to the life innovation and mobility. These two fields will particularly be important uh, going forward. Two offices also review Fujitsu's current Fujitsu Group's current products and services uh, to, uh, in order to formulate uh, strategic initiatives uh, that guide uh, development of new solutions. And the two offices shown on the right uh, are ATO, Academic uh, Technology Outlook Advancement Office, and Open Innovation Advancement Office. Academic Technology Outlook Advancement Office gathers academic data to uh, gain a bird's eye view of R&D trends and guidelines. And Open Innovation Advancement Office supports the collaboration with external R&D organizations and universities. Through uh, these newly established uh, for advancement office, Fujitsu Laboratories will strive to uh, deepen and accelerate our research initiatives. In these ways, Fujitsu Laboratories will leverage leading edge ICT technologies to drive innovation in order to support and realize a sustainable human centric intelligent society that, similar to bamboo, is robust, resilient, and flexible. That's all my presentation. Thank you very much for listening.